Hello there. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer parameter values between host and Revit linked model. Why do we need this? We need to exchange values between two Revit models because two different elements should have the same values. In the example, in the practical example, uh, we are going to see how we transfer that. So we use Dynamo script to get the parameter values from a link model and transfer that to the host model. For this Dynamo tutorial, I'm going to be using Dynamo 2.13.1 and we need to have Dynamo package beam orphan nodes installed. And for the Revit version, I'm going to be using Revit 2023. Without further ado, let's get it started. Okay, before I begin with Dynamo script, let me clarify the purpose of this by this image. In the AEC industry, when you have a fire resistant compartment element, which is hosting, let's say, a, a vertical hole here, uh, this hole should behave as same as its host, in this case, this wall. So what I need to do is to make sure those elements have a same parameter value when it comes to fire rating class. In this example, I'm going to import fire rating class parameter, which is in the linked model and assign it in the parameter of the hole. Okay, let's jump into the Revit. Okay. In the Revit session, actually, here I have my linked model, which is my architectural model in which there are present uh, like uh, walls, doors, floors, etc. And in my host model, I'm gonna manage my holes. In this case, I have modeled them with the generic models. Uh, there are some other ways to manage them. Uh, but in, the, in this case, I have been using generic models and I have my mark here as a parameter to identify every single uh, hole and I have whole fire rating parameter uh, which uh, needs to be filled out. Okay, the purpose as I uh, mentioned before is that when I select this uh, element uh, here, my wall here, I need to actually uh, transfer this data, which is placed in the wall fire rating parameter, into the um, into the, in the into this uh, hole here. So uh, the the values of these parameters should be corresponding between these two elements. For that reason, let me um, fire up the Dynamo script here, okay? Basically, in the very first block, I need to uh, grab my linked uh, model. And I'm gonna use the select model element, which is a uh, out of box nodes. And uh, if you have some other linked model into your host model, so you need to filter this out. On the other hand, I need to grab my uh, all my holes actually in the in the whole model, which are um, model in the category of the generic model, and uh, bring out actually all the uh, elements of this category. I'm going to be using the beam orphan nodes uh, here, which is, uh, um, it is, it is from the linked model. Actually, it's going to select all the category which I'm calling this in this case, uh, the walls. On the other hand, I'm going to intersect uh, these two elements from my linked model and host model. And here I'm going to separate them because I need to grab every single of parameters of each. For example, here, uh, this should be uh, actually all my walls. And in the intersecting elements nodes, I'm going to have actually 
all the uh, generic models. If we go ahead here, actually, I'm going to get all the parameters of the walls from the linked model uh, through, through, this, uh, through this node here, linked element dot get parameters value by name. And finally, I'm going to be using out of out of box uh, node from the Dynamo uh, from the Dynamo the, and uh, assign the all the parameter values of these parameter into these parameters of the generic models actually. Okay, let me show you from the schedule here, I'm going to create a schedule of the generic models. And I'm going to bring out um, the mark of each vertical and horizontal um, holes and the, the parameter, actually, hole fire rating. So, if I run the Dynamo, oh, before that, let me select my Revit link here. As as you as you can see here, all my Revit session is grayed out. It's waiting to select the host uh, the, the linked model. So I I grab that. And I'm gonna actually run this script. Okay, run is completed. Let's go back to the Revit and let's see what happened here. Actually, as you can see, the Dynamo script has taken the this value from this parameter and assigned it to this uh, to this generic model here which is presenting my uh, horizontal hole here. So if I go back to the schedule, as, as you can see, I have completed all the other uh, parameters here. This is a really handy and um, helpful script because let's imagine that you're, you're, you have to manage thousands of these uh, generic models and assign them the uh, corresponding parameter to them. So it's gonna be, it would be really tedious and time consuming. But with this um, Dynamo script, uh, in a second, you're gonna assign them with the, uh, with the accurate manner, actually. I hope you enjoy it.